As we're approaching the end of 2022, my thoughts are starting to turn towards 2023 and how I will evolve my closet and my personal style into the new year and beyond. For those of you new to this channel, my name is Trish and I started this channel at the beginning of this year as a way to share all of the things I've learned since starting over on my closet and my personal style in 2020. In 2018, I'd thrown out my entire wardrobe of clothes in an effort to start from scratch, but I ended up making the same mistakes I'd made all my life. My overhaul in 2020 worked, however. Why? Because instead of just changing the clothes, I changed my mindset and my philosophy. And it worked. And it's that mindset and philosophy now that I'm going to leverage as I go into 2023 and choose the new items for my closet. If you want to know more, I did an entire video on my personal style, which I'll leave linked here for you. I'm sharing this video as a guide so that hopefully, unlike me, you won't have to learn the hard way or the expensive way as you go about adding new items to your closet. So let's get started. So I have my best buys here lined up beside me and I'll take you through each of them one by one. So the first, best purchase I made in 2022 is this trench coat from Massimo Duty. Now I would have spoken about this and styled this before on my channel um, as I would have all of these pieces and that's why they're in my best buy list because I have worn each of these pieces so so often. They are so beautiful, so versatile, they're very comfortable and I absolutely love them. So continuing on with this trench coat. This one is from Massimo Duty. Um, it is made from 100% cotton. The only complaint I would make about it is that the lining is polyester. Um, but other than that, I love the design and I love everything else about it. Um, so it's a very classic trench coat style. Um, it has the storm flap at the back. It has the belt tie and it has these lovely adjustable buckles on these sleeves as well which means that you can tighten the sleeves or pull up the sleeves and tighten them where they are. I live in Ireland which is a rainy country and a trench coat is absolutely essential. Um, I find this such a great piece to just throw over any outfit that I happen to be wearing. I think it would go great with this outfit that I'm wearing right now even. It's a wonderful layer. Um, and because of the color, which is a very neutral kind of beige, um, it does go with so many things in my wardrobe. So practical, so wearable with absolutely everything. And that's why it's on my list of best purchases. Continuing on with outerwear so, and my next best purchase of 2022 is this blazer. Now, unlike the trench coat, this blazer is lined in 100% silk and it really does make a difference. The blazer is from a brand called The Curated. They're female founded, female owned, and their mission is luxury at affordable prices. And this blazer was 300 euro, which for the quality of the construction and the finishing and the materials used to make this blazer, I think is a very fair price point. Um, it's the most expensive piece I've added to my wardrobe this year, but absolutely worth every penny. Again, I chose it in this really beautiful neutral shade. This one is called Stone, and I got it in the size extra small because while I'm normally a size small, it is a relaxed fit. And I find that this blazer can go over chunky sweaters, no problem. It is a beautiful minimal design just with the uh, vent at the back. It's single breasted, single button closure. The pockets even are lined in silk as well, which is a beautiful detail. And yes, this blazer is wonderful. Again, a wonderful layering piece, very versatile, goes with absolutely everything. I find it easy to dress up or dress down. I would simply roll up the sleeves and dress it up with jeans for a casual look. And then I've often worn this to the office as well because it is still a beautiful, structured piece that looks really well with any type of pleated or tapered pant. Um, it even looks good with dresses. So for example, I've worn this with a silk dress and I think it looks absolutely wonderful. 
So this is a fantastic piece that I'm so, so glad I added to my wardrobe. So much so that I am looking to get this one in black as well. Moving on to knitwear. And I have two pieces of knitwear to show you. And both of them are from the same brand, Cezanne. So if you will have watched my channel before, you will have heard me speak about Cezanne quite often. I think they are a wonderful brand. There's a lot of attention to detail and craftsmanship that go into their pieces that make them really just well thought out and in turn, wonderful to wear, really versatile, really beautiful, pair up with so many different combinations. And that is why they're both on my rail today because I have found so many different ways to wear these. So starting off with this striped knit, which is called the Leontine sweater and it is part of Cezanne's Essentials range, which means that they stock this all year round. It's not part of any limited seasonal collection. Um, a striped knit, I think, is always quite trendy, um, while still being quite classic at the same time, which really suits my personal style down to the ground. And the detailing on this sweater is really wonderful. So we have structured shoulder seams down there, which really gives a lot of shape. Um, and these beautiful kind of tortoiseshell buttons on the front as well, which are all fully functional. So they can open or close as you desire. You can open it all the way down or you can close it all the way up to the top. And it's just a really, really beautiful kind of boxy knit um, that looks wonderful paired with so many different things. I've paired this with jeans, with pants, um, I've paired it with leather trousers, for example. It looks wonderful with leather trousers as well. And it's just an amazing all-rounder that I'm so, so happy I added to my wardrobe. The next piece of knitwear also from Cezanne is this Gaspard cardigan. I only added this to my closet a couple of weeks ago, but already I don't know how I lived without it. It is an incredibly versatile piece that can be worn front-facing or equally it can be worn backwards and um, you can see there's a beautiful kind of almost boat um, boat line uh, neckline on the back when it's worn backwards as well so it can act as a jumper as well as a cardigan and there are these lovely white buttons down the front I absolutely love that contrasting detail and the cardigan itself is super soft and cozy it's made out of um, kid mohair and kid alpaca so extremely soft and warm and beautiful to wear when the weather gets colder. So yeah, this is one I am so, so happy I've added to my wardrobe. And because Cezanne do this in multiple colorways, I'm considering adding the white version and the blue version to my closet as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free. I post new videos every week and it will make sure you never miss a video. The next piece on my best purchases of 2022 list is also from Cezanne. Now I promise this video isn't sponsored by Cezanne. These just truly are pieces I reach for again and again. They are so, so good. And um, so this time it's a silk shirt and it's called their Chloe shirt. And it is just so beautiful. So it's 100% silk. You can see how flowy and drapey it is. It feels beautiful on the skin. Um, it's very, very breathable and the neckline is wonderful. So when you close it, it, there's this V neckline and there is really beautiful lace detailing um, around the collar as well. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, the sleeves have a slight balloon shape as you can see there and then they taper down into the wrist which creates a really flattering narrow point around the wrist. But this blouse is equally appropriate um, on a date night or worn to the office as well, depending on how you style it. So it is a wonderful, versatile piece that I have really, really enjoyed wearing all year and that I am so, so happy that I've added to my closet. The next piece I want to speak about is a basic and it is a heat tech top from Uniqlo. So basically it's a long sleeved t-shirt in black. Um, I have it in white as well, but I haven't found the white to be as versatile. The black is definitely the more versatile out of the two. And one of the things I absolutely love about it and that I think sets it apart from my other basics is the shape of the neckline. It has a beautiful scoop neck. So what that means is that I can very easily dress this up or down. 
Of course, it is a layering piece. It's very, very thin. I don't know if you can see it, but very, very thin fabric. So it layers beautifully under anything, um, including sweaters, jackets, you name it. It's a lovely length as well, so very easy to tuck in. Um, but that scoop neck allows me to stack my necklaces and really dress this top up if needs be. So it is a wonderful, warm and versatile piece that I've been wearing again and again, especially as it's been getting colder. And yeah, one I highly, highly recommend. Next piece I want to speak about is footwear. And it is these beautiful slingback shoes. Um, they are obviously dupes of the Chanel classic two-tone pumps, um, which I think we'll all have seen, we've all seen everywhere. They are such a beautiful shoe. And I got these ones from Etsy. Um, so there are many craftspeople working via Etsy and it's really easy to order um, custom-made clothing and custom-made footwear. And so these were handmade to order and they are 100% leather and they were made in Poland by a seller called Anna Marati. I'll leave it linked in the description box for you, but I highly recommend them because the construction is very good, very high quality and they are very comfortable to wear as well. I had absolutely no breaking in period with these shoes whatsoever. They have been comfortable since day one. You can actually customize your toe so you can um, say whether you want a uh, patent leather or a suede or a matte leather. I just went with the really standard kind of matte leather toe cap. And I absolutely love that they're a more pointed design. The Chanel's have a more rounded toe but for my particular body type, I do prefer a pointed toe because I find that elongates my leg and just gives me an illusion of added height. And as a petite, I'm always looking for the illusion of added height. Um, because of their color and because of their classic design, these are really easy to style with just about anything. They're really, really versatile and versatility is something I am always, always looking for in the pieces I add to my wardrobe. So I'm very, very happy with these. Very, very glad I bought them and would highly, highly recommend that seller to anyone looking for a similar pair. The next item I want to speak about is an accessory and it is these Ray-Ban Wayfarers that I bought in Greece this year. These are a really, really classic design. They have a very slight cat eye shape, which I absolutely love. And I'll just put them on so I can show you. So you can see that they're a really, really classic design. And because of that, then they're highly versatile. They go with just about everything. And I find that these elevate any outfit I put them with, even a more casual outfit. Um, I got them in Greece on holiday, which made them a wonderful souvenir as well. These are something that I wear almost every day um, because they give really, really good sun protection. And even though I live in Ireland, which is not famed for its sun, there is a lot of glare, <laughs> so and I absolutely hate glare, so I wear these a lot, especially when I'm driving. Um, so they give absolutely wonderful protection as well as looking good as well. Um, and they also remind me of the wonderful holiday I had in Greece. So these are wonderful, and if anyone is looking to kind of invest maybe a bit more in sunglasses, I definitely recommend this type of this brand and this particular style, the Wayfarers, because they are a very, very classic and versatile design. On to my next best buy, and it is these jeans from Egoldi. Now, I spoke about these at length in my should we pay more for jeans video, which I will leave linked in the description box for you. And I came to the conclusion that although these are a much pricier jean than your average high street jean, they are worth the money. Um, the only recommendation I would make when it comes to a Goldie is to size down one size. Um, I didn't. I took my usual size, which is a size 27, and these are now really too big for me, um, which, you know, is a bit annoying. They're still very flattering on. I still wear them all the time, but definitely a size, even a 25 or a 26 in a Goldie would be a much more appropriate size for me. So that is the only thing I would recommend when going for a Goldie's size down one size. Um, otherwise, these are a wonderful jean. These are 
called their Fen jean and it's a very classic straight leg design and I find a straight leg jean to be the most versatile cut of jean. It's one that I like to wear the most so I'm so so happy that I added these to my wardrobe. Of course this light blue wash is very useful and versatile as well. It goes with all of the colours in my existing wardrobe and I find it really easy to dress up or dress down as the occasion demands. So these were a wonderful addition to my closet and ones I would highly recommend. The final piece I'm going to talk about today is this tote bag. Um, now I got this second hand via Bestiaire. Um, they're a consignment online store and they and it's a really good marketplace to find designer brands at lower prices. So this designer is called Mansur Gabrielle and as you can see they specialize in very minimal designs which I absolutely love. This really reminds me of um, the Rose Park tote actually and I was looking everywhere for a similar style that was a little bit less pricey than the Rose <laughs> crazily expensive version and eventually I found this. Now new this retails for over 800 euro I wouldn't recommend that you spend the full price on the new version and um, I got this second hand and um, you can see well I don't know can you see there are some scratches uh, on the leather so obviously that brought down the price somewhat and also there was a hole in the front as well which has been repaired with this cute little leather heart. Um, so because of those damages, I got this for 50 euro and I'm extremely happy with that price actually. I think it was very reasonable. The other feature I absolutely love about this bag is the red interior. It's absolutely beautiful and it's this really, it's quite a subtle pop of vibrant color that I absolutely love. I find it really dresses up any outfit that I wear this with and just makes everything that bit more visually interesting. Um, so I absolutely love this tote. It's very roomy. It has really a lot of space in it. Um, and you can see that there's quite a um, good depth in the bottom of the bag. And, um, and the bag is quite large as well. So it's a really, really practical all rounder tote bag. And one that I've already been using for the office and just day to day round and about as well. So incredibly useful, versatile and practical. And I'm so, so happy that I've added this to my closet as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and do let me know in the comments what items are on your wish list for 2023. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.